Coach, uh, before we recap tomorrow's game, quick recap of uh, this weekend's overtime game against Columbus State. Uh, just your thoughts on, on what went down over the weekend. I thought we did some good things at times, and we just watched film from that game. And and but I did show the girls a lot of clips where we had defensive breakdowns, rebounding breakdowns, uh, some just some ill-advised turnovers. Although we didn't turn the ball over that many times, we had a couple of crazy turnovers. Um, I thought a game that we, we had a great chance to win. Uh, we played, like I say, well at times and did some good things. We didn't shoot the ball real well, and we, we've, we've got to make shots. You know, if we're going to be successful, we've got to make shots. Uh, and then we've got to continue to, to grow and get better defensively as a team and rebounding. Yeah, I know you mentioned rebounding in another game where uh, Columbus State was able to find success in the offensive glass. Would you say that's like the priority for you guys right now? Yeah, yeah. well, that and just being solid defensively, being being in position and, and, and having good closeouts versus bad closeouts where we let people go by us. We, we did that about three times and, and gave them uh, straight line drives to the basket. So those are all areas we need to improve on. You know, we're, we're a little bit undersized as we're playing – uh, four more traditional perimeter players. So I think particularly at, at our four spot with TR or, you know, maybe get Courtney back and she'll play there some because she's pretty strong. And, and with Jaden, they, they've just got to be strong and aggressive because they're going to be at a physical disadvantage probably a little bit size-wise and maybe even strength-wise uh, night in and night out. Well, your fives both played great uh, against uh, Columbus State. Diamond and uh, Gabby will score in the double figures. Is that kind of what you're what you're you're hoping to see throughout the season? Get the ball inside. Well, I, again, I'm, I think I'm kind of old school as a basketball coach that I, I feel like you, you you try to play the game as best you can inside out. Uh, and, and, and the other reason I think we need to do that is I, I, right now our guards aren't shooting a great percentage, so we, we want to focus getting it inside. And I think you get better perimeter shots if you can get it inside. And I think uh, Diamond finished, uh, was particularly good in the first half, and then Gabby t took up that in the second half. And uh, so it was a really good combination. We're excited about seeing how well those girls played. And I, and I think we need to continue uh, to get the ball inside, yes. Take it on at USC Aiken um, tomorrow. This is a team that you had success against last year, beat them twice. I don't know if you have a chance to kind of reflect on, on last year's games, but, but what were some of the things that you think kind of led, led to those wins last year? Well, I think both guys we were able to score against them, and I think that's that's big. Uh, you know, this year's team they're they're very different. They, they've got a lot of new players. Uh, they've got a couple of twins, I think, that are freshmen, but very skilled at five eleven. Can can put on the floor some. Can shoot the three. Uh, so those will be tough matchups. Uh, and they've got a few other guards that can shoot the three. Uh, they've got a they've got a big post, a long post that's about six two. I think she's a young kid, so you know, uh, developing in terms of strength and those type of things. But she She's a good player, so 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 it'll be a different uh, Aiken team than I think uh, uh, what we've seen in the past. They're really gonna make you guard. They run their offense and they they cut, they screen, they do a good job of of execution. So we're really gonna have to be good defensively. Uh, I, I think trying to push the ball in transition and get some easy baskets and, and getting some second shots. If you look at their stats, they're they're at like a minus 14 differential in rebounding. So I think we we've got to try to do a good job on the boards against them. And uh, you know. Saturday's game was so close. How much of this do you think is kind of getting that, that monkey off your back of just getting that first win and, and, and kind of rolling from there? Yeah, I don't know. You, you, you know, uh... I think you know, getting that confidence and believing that okay, it's a close game. We're going to get it done. We're we're going to win this game, uh, you know. And 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 I've had teams that you know I felt like they felt the other way, and then I've had teams that that felt like that. Uh, just just you know, we got in close games. They felt like we're, we're going to win these close games. So. Uh, I think we'll be in our share of those uh, this year. And I tell our girls, you know, if we're playing well. Uh, you know, we should be right there with everybody, uh, unless we play poorly. And then, and then, you know, on, on the flip side, you know, we've got to play really well to try to blow anybody out. So I think we're going to, just like we have in the past, we've run into a lot of close games, and so executing down the stretch, and and it's just that's what I showed them on film. It's just look at all these plays. One one of these plays during the course of the game would have resulted in a win. So just understanding that it's it's not what happens in the final seconds, but it's it's what happens over the course of 40 minutes. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Best of luck tomorrow. Thanks.